Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to a very special Haiti video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my favorite player reaches level 300 plus, which you guys must have guessed a bit about what I'm going to be talking about. So basically, it's going to be a little tribute to my most favorite player in the game, just me talking and kind of a storytelling. So I'm going to be talking a lot. Now, if you guys don't like talking videos, you should probably not watch this. Otherwise, enjoy. So I'm just going to get started now. Let's start by harvesting the crops. I got some soybeans and carrots right here, which is perfect. I just got a saw coal. And I really like this windmill in the middle of my crops. It's actually better than the windmill that people got. So yeah, but I had to spend 35 diamonds to get this. Okay, let's do all this. And I'm just going to send the farm visitors away quickly. There we go. Um, and my farm helpers are walking in the fields. Again, I have no idea what's up with them. So I'm just going to go with some wheat over here. And I think I will go with, let me have a look at my crops, what I'm missing. Yeah, maybe some mushrooms would do it. Okay, so wheat and mushroom, that is. Wait, there's still some pieces that are missing? Okay, cool. And I will just collect my honeycombs and my peanuts are still not ready. We can do our boat. It's kind of unusual. Tea leaves in the boat. I've never had a boat otter asking for tea leaves for so long. But I'm just going to ask for help on all these crates. Let me run my dairy. Oh my gosh, I'm missing a lot of dairy products. No butter and just no cream. That's a disaster. And I need to make a lot of fudge and yogurt. So it's going to be kind of crazy. Coming to the main topic of this video, my favorite player. Now, you guys know what kind of game Haiti is. So, Haiti is a long time game. That means you play for years. You build up your farm slowly, you get your machines, you have your animals, and you progress throughout the years. It's not a game that you play for a week and then that's it. No, this game actually builds up its hype and its pace slowly, and you keep enjoying this for years and years and depending on your mood. And throughout the years, it's a long time, it's definitely it's definitely not a short time and you do need motivation to do something that even if you do in real life you have to be motivated in order to achieve something in order to keep going on the same path for years and so is the case in this game you do need motivation to keep moving on it would be wrong to say that i did not have any motivation or that i was just enjoying this for myself of course there were times when i used to feel bored when i used to like i just didn't want to play this game i'm not hating this i love this game but of course these times come automatically when you just don't want to even touch or get into your game so you do need motivation to keep moving on in this game and one of the biggest sources of motivation for me in this game was the player that I'm going to be talking about in this video. I'm going to go to his farm and I'm just going to be talking a lot about it. It's going to be a story time. I've already warned you guys if you don't like storytelling or if you guys just or if you guys just don't enjoy my talking, then this video is not really for you. So that person, I'm just going to start talking right now, is right here in my friends list in the middle. Level 303, the name is Green Jeans. And I swear to God, this person has not changed its name for years. For 16 years, this person has been my friends list. And he has not changed its name. Is that an achievement? I don't know. You guys tell me about this. All right, so we're finally at Green Jeans Farm. And these are his farm statics. He has sent 160 trucks. Um, he's made almost 118,000 revenue in one single day. And he has 310 followers, 988 likes. So I think I've already liked this farm because I'm obsessed. Yeah, I already liked. So there's going to be a lot of talk about this person, about his farm. Now, a little fun fact, this person has been in my friends list for years. For almost six years. And he's probably the oldest person in my friends list. I don't have anyone else who's been in my friends list for this long Partly because I removed people, but he was already a high-level player, so I never removed him. Secondly, I was obsessed with him. I loved his farm and everything about it, so I just, I, I was highly motivated by him. Now, we're going to do a little time traveling in this video. We're going to travel back to 2016, December, when I used to play this game with my friends, and unfortunately, none of my friends play this game now. 
Um, and we used to do a lot of traveling. We would just explore different neighborhoods and we were just like wanderers moving from here to there. And we would often go to different neighborhoods. So we joined a neighborhood that was called as Beasley's. I'm not sure if it's still there, but the good thing about the neighborhood was that it had a lot of high level players, over level 200 and sometimes over level 100. I mean, I had friends who were even lower, so we used to be like low level players. And another thing, that neighborhood's required level was just 40. So we were shocked. We were like, oh my gosh, we need to join this because, you know, high level players definitely help. So we joined the neighborhood and there, on one lucky day, I met this person, or I just saw this person, green jeans. He was level 179. So now he's level 303, so that means over the span of six years, he has leveled up like 120, which is crazy, which is awesome, actually. And that's the amount of insane dedication this person has. And to tell you guys, Green Jeans has been playing Haiti nonstop for years. I don't even know when he started, but I've been seeing him from December 2016. And there wasn't a single day when he did not play in Haiti. And that's the reason I was so motivated by him. I used to think like, wow, I need to be like him. I aspired too much to be like Green Jeans. Okay, so when I first found his farm, I went to his farm. And the first thing that enchanted me the most about it was his town level. That was 59. Extremely high at that time. Remember, I'm talking about 2016. That was six years ago. And I don't even think at that time there were so many players reaching that high in the town. So a lot of things that I do now in the game or the things that I'm obsessed with is because of Green Jeans. I was absolutely stunned, completely shocked by seeing his town level 59. I was like, oh my gosh, there's still people in this world that are obsessed with Hades, that play Hades so much, that are like over level 50 in the town because I never single person in the town even over level 40 or something and seeing 59 just, it was dazzling. Shocking is one thing. It actually inspired me a lot to go to my town and play and increase its level. And that's the reason now I'm obsessed with town because of jeans. Because before that, I didn't really used to play my town a lot. But after seeing him on level 15, I was like, oh my god, there's still people in this world who actually play town. And you guys can see his town. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, no, that's not it. The other thing that stunned me about Green Jeans was his farm design. And it was beautiful. And even after so many years, it's still like the same. The farm is the same, although there's been some changes, of course. I remember his first farm. Oh my gosh, it's been a crazy time. I loved his farm. That's the farm that I wanted my farm to be like. That's the farm I aspired to make in my game. It was beautiful, you guys. And the second thing, it was so natural exactly how the farms should be. Look, he's never cut the trees, and you can see it's so beautiful, you know, the different trees, their animals, decorations, and the natural stuff that ditches and trails and stuff, and how he's done, you know, stuff with the trees. It's just beautiful, and I really love his farm. I still do. Absolutely beautiful. And you can and you can see his progress over the years. He's actually opened a lot of land. There's still some land that's left to be opened here, and currently he's in this neighborhood, which is, he's actually changed it, and I went back to Beasley's, uh, like, a couple of years later, and I asked them that why Green Jeans is not here now. And they told that he had a little fight, and I think people didn't used to play Derby, so he joined this neighborhood. And even I joined this neighborhood a long time ago, where I actually chatted with Green Jeans. And that was the most intense time of my life, actually chatting with Green Jeans. Because I never really had the chance to chat with him when I joined the first neighborhood that he was in mainly by time zone that we used to live in. I sent him a request and he accepted me just in a few hours. And that was, I was really happy. I was like, oh my gosh, I have a little player accepted my friend request. So I think he was one of the very first people in my friends list that was like level 179 at that time. I never used to have friends in my friends list at that time who were over that level. So I was really happy for that. So I had the chance to chat with Green Jeans and there I learned a few things about him. I still don't know a lot, but he told me that he was from... Florida, and he was in his 60s, he was retired, and he also loved cooking and playing tennis. We chatted a lot about the game. I asked him what's near bar in silo space. He told me there was over 8,000, and that was, I think, in 2017 I'm talking about right now. Uh, 8,000, absolutely amazing. And secondly, I asked him that do you purchase diamonds in the game? He said that no, he doesn't. He did that a long time ago, but he tries not to. That means he's mostly a free-to-play player. And still on such a brilliant level and such brilliant progress in the game without even spending money in the game. So I think that's really inspiring, right? And even now, he's been leveling up like a normal person. He's not leveled up like crazy, you know, just people like 10 levels in a second or, I mean, in days. 
he's been loving up like a normal person, like let's say twice or thrice a month. And even now we have the farm pass, but back in the days we did not used to have farm pass. So I added this person to my friends list and he became the biggest source of inspiration for me to play Heyday, to make my farm better, to run my machines and to do everything. Literally every single day I used to come to his farm and I used to have a look what he's doing. So this was in May 2017 when I joined a summer camp, which is basically a pre-college time in our country. And I had to wake up early in the morning, like 6 a.m. I used to go to his farm and I would be thinking like, oh, for green jeans, it's um, it's probably evening or night before sleeping, you know? And he'd be planting wheat, he'd be doing weeding, he'd be planting soybeans. And I was like, oh my gosh. So that's what he's doing now. Secondly, at that time, he still sells stuff. At that time, he used to sell a lot of tools because his town was obviously fully maxed. So I purchased a lot of stuff from green jeans shops and that helped me so much. It used to be axes, loads of town tools and stuff. So it was brilliant. And daily, I used to come to his farm. I used to get motivated. I used to see his machines running, his fields planted, and just imagine what he's actually doing now. Because I was, to say, obsessed with him. And even now, you guys, I'm still obsessed with his farm. His farm is still one of my favorites in the game. Like, it's going to be my top five designs of the farm. And I wish that my farm could be like his one day. And he's so much to actually not cut these trees because they are beautiful. And... And then after 2017, I got really busy into college. I used to have a lot of study and exams and stuff, so I left the game. But even after that, I used to install the game sometimes just to see what's happening or any update. I used to come to his, I used to come to his farm and he'd be still playing. I used to think like, oh my gosh, I wish one day I could be retired like Green Jeans so that I could play Heyday all the time every day. That would be very great indeed. So I'm gonna say, I think my my stream is going to be really true. Green Jeans has not left a day without Heyday. He's been playing every single day for years, and at least for six years, he's been playing every day ever since he's been in my friends list, and that's just brilliant. So now he's level 303, and I just wanted to give him a little tribute, and just wanted to show his passion and dedication for this game without even spending a lot of money, without, and just playing normally. So you guys, that's your proof. Even if you're not spending a lot of money, if you play every day, you can still reach level 300. But of course, that depends what kind of time period you're in in your life. He said that he was retired, so obviously he had more time. But if you're still a student or if you have your work, then you might not have a lot of time to play the game. But that doesn't matter. What matters is that everything is possible if you're dedicated enough. And to say, I never imagined that one day I would reach level 200. And here I am, level 200. And at that time, I was just level 59. And I, and I aspired so much to be like Green Jeans. And now I think... I'm becoming more like him. I mean, my farm is higher. My town is really high. I'm progressing everything. So yeah, I feel good. But, but Green Jeans definitely had a huge part in my whole Haiti journey. And he's still on my friends list. I still often visit his farm to see, to see how he's doing everything. And yeah, it's been an amazing time. So now I just want to congratulate him for reaching level 300 plus in the game. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully one day I'd also reach level 300. I just can't say anything right now. It seems impossible. But I mean, that was a case for me. I never imagined level 200 and now I'm level 210. So maybe, yes, one day I will reach level 300. We shall see what's going to happen. So that's all about it. I think I still missed a lot of parts, but I can't remember. I wish I could show you guys some screenshots that I took of his farm, like in 2016, 2017, 2018. But those, but those screenshots are now in my old computer and that's currently damaged. I haven't had the chance to repair it. So I want to be able to show you guys the screenshots, but I think you heard the story that I just uh, talked and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'm still thinking that I'm missing a lot. I, I, I just can't remember, but I think I told the most parts. One of the few things that really inspired me about his farm was definitely the design and how high he was in the town, level 59 in 2016. That was absolutely shocking. I was like, oh my God, I really need to start working on my town. And of course, how he used to play every single day. His machines were fully mastered. So it just inspired me so much. And I think we all have a favorite player in the game that we often like to visit and just see how they're doing everything. So let me know, do you guys have a favorite player in the game that you really like to look upon and just get a lot of inspiration from? If you have, let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed this storytelling special I know it was a very different video, it wasn't a gameplay video, it was not a tips and tricks or guide video, but I think sometimes storytellings are good. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Haiti videos coming. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.